In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Wednesday and the announcement out of the Fed as well as your money. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get into it and talk through all the details. All right, so Wednesday of this week, in just a matter of days here, we're going to be getting a very important announcement out of the Fed, and it's also going to impact all of us across the entire country from coast to coast. And believe it or not, it's also going to impact our money, which is why I want to focus on it here in this video and talk about what we can anticipate out of the Fed with this big announcement that will be coming out, as well as the other piece of data that will be released the morning of Wednesday that is also going to play into the decision out of the Fed, which they will release later on in the day as well. So we actually have a pretty busy day coming up on Wednesday, and I want to break down all the details for you here in this video. It's pretty important, and again, it's going to impact all of us and our money. I'm not sure about you, but um, <laughs> that's pretty important in my honest opinion. So anyway, let's jump into it and talk about all these details a little bit further. However, really fast before we do, can I ask a huge, huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, or if you happen to be new here, first off, welcome. Will you please make sure to join the other nearly half a million people here on the channel? channel that have subscribed to the channel using the subscribe button down below the video. It's totally free to do so. Make sure to hit that if you have not done so yet. I'm here for you every single day watching the headlines, doing all the research, advocating on your behalf, answering questions, anything like that. I want to point out anything right now you can possibly grab or take advantage of like money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, any of these programs that are out there right now, monthly check programs, those are all over the place right now as well. I just want to bring it to your attention. I know it's rough out there financially. None of us have any money. <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but uh, be certainly pretty nice to have some money these days, right? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to join the community again with the other nearly half a million people here on the channel. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate literally every single one of you. Thank you so much. Please subscribe down below and uh, let's talk to the details about this. All right. So Wednesday, we have a big important day. In fact, a few days ago, I had another video out where I was talking a little bit about this as well. And I had a number of questions on that video. Many people reaching out asking, hey, what does this actually mean? What's going on? What is the announcement? All kinds of things like this. I want to come back here and elaborate further, okay? So anyway, let me explain really fast here what's gonna, what this announcement's going to be on Wednesday morning as well. That's going to play right into the decision out of the Fed, okay? So Wednesday morning, and again, I talked about this the other day, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about this right now. But then I want to jump into those decisions out of the Fed. But right away on Wednesday morning, we're going to be getting the all important inflation number. Yeah, I know, right? This is going to be the inflation number for the month of May, okay? So it's always coming in the middle of the month for the previous month. And this just so happens to be May's inflation data. What's it going to do? Did it go up? Did it hold steady? Did it go down? Doubt it. Uh, but we'll have to see what happens here. But that information will be released on Wednesday morning. And that's going to be a very important one as well. Because believe it or not, the Federal Reserve and the Fed right here with this announcement also uses this inflation data to determine what they're going to be doing with their policies moving forward. So the timing is actually very good here uh, when it comes down to this announcement on inflation, as well as the announcement out of the Fed here. Again, it's all timed same day. So there you go. This will play a key roll into this. Now next, later in the afternoon, okay, 2 p.m. East Coast time, Fed will come out and announce what they're doing with their interest rate policy. Now, there's plenty of speculation out there suggesting that they may be cutting interest rates. I'm going to say this much, highly doubt it, okay? That is my opinion on, on this right now. I highly doubt that they're going to be coming out in this meeting on Wednesday and announcing an interest rate cut. I just don't see it happening this time. Inflation is still way too hot. We've seen inflation moving up here the last several months. And um, well, to be fair though, last month it did stall out a teeny tiny bit. Not much, right? But for the most part, it's done um, nothing but go up so far this year. I do not believe we're going to see an interest rate cut, but rather I anticipate they're just going to continue to pause. They've been pausing for the last, what, eight or nine meetings now. I anticipate they continue to pause on interest rates. However, they're still very high, okay? Interest rates are still very, very high. The last time we saw interest rates this high was like 20 years ago. It's a very long time ago. Um, so yeah, we are in kind of a, a precarious situation right now. And remember, the longer that we go with high interest rates like this, um, the more it's gonna contract on the economy, right? Think about it like, uh, like, a, like a snake or something, right? Like this is the little prey, right? And here's the snake. And it just contracts more and more and more. The more that these interest rates are higher, uh, the more it just contracts tighter and tighter and tighter. And just like a snake going around, right? So again, not a good situation. It's contracting on the economy. Now, we've also heard from many different people out there that the second half of 2024, right here, right now, well, 
you know, as we move into the second half of 2024, we're likely going to be jumping into a major recession at that time. Again, who knows what's going to happen, but I want to say this much as well. I know there's a lot of you here in the community because I see your comments down below all the time, literally every single day, asking, are we getting a stimulus check? When are we getting it? How much is it going to be? Who's it going to be included? You know, is there going to be another stimulus check this year? Stuff like this, okay? I want to say this really quickly. If we do go into a major, major deep, dark recession uh, at some point this year, like later on this year or whatever it happens to be at some point, that is a major win when it comes down to stimulus, okay? I'm just simply saying, okay, this whole idea about inflation and all this other business that people talk about as far as, oh, you know, we got to, you know, we got to worry about inflation. I can tell you this much. If we go into a deep recession or a major recession and we see major contraction in the economy, even more than we're seeing now, the last thing we're going to hear about is inflation, okay? They're going to print up a boatload of money like they did the last couple of years here, and they're going to plow it out to stimulate the economy. They do it every single time. This time would be absolutely no different. There's no reason for that, right? So my point is, this whole talk about inflation and being concerned about inflation, we got to bring it down, is Kind of just like a smoke and mirrors type of situation right now. Yes, fine. It's a talking point. It's something to focus on right now. But if we go into a major recession, what's going to be more important? Bringing inflation down an extra 1.5% or revitalizing the economy and bringing it out of a deep, dark pit? I'm just telling you, it's not going to be inflation. That'll be the last thing that they talk about. They will not be concerned whatsoever about that. It'll just basically be, let's fire up the printing press and let's print up hundreds of billions or trillions of dollars yet again, plow it into the economy and... Um, revitalize this thing. That's literally what it's going to be about. So my point is, if you're in the camp and if you're somebody that wants additional money or stimulus or things like that, then a major recession would be something that is music to your ears, okay? <laughs> I'm just simply saying. Well, let's just see what happens here. No promises, but we'll have to see what happens here with the Federal Reserve on Wednesday. And um, this will be very important to see what happens. I highly doubt they cut interest rates, but if they do, we're probably going to see some major, major volatility in the stock market. So if you're there, uh, be very aware of that. Um, but uh, we'll have to see what happens here. And um, remember, 30 minutes later as well, 2.30 p.m. East Coast time, the, fair, uh, the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, will be out in a press conference and he'll sit down and uh, answer some questions and answer those very, um, very carefully, <laughs> right, to make sure that he says all the right things. Um, but this will also be all happening on Wednesday. So pretty important right there, right? So... Anyway, um, I will keep you posted on this, but uh, I hope that offers some more clarification for those of you that have been asking as far as the details on Wednesday and the announcement of the Fed and the CPI, the inflation numbers. Yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of information here. Of course, I'll keep you updated on that and I'll come back and uh, break it all down for you as we get all the information. But uh, this will be very important, a very important day. And... Um, these are the announcements. So anyway, by the way, for those of you that receive uh, Social Security, things like this, this is the second Wednesday of the month as well. So um, yeah, you'll be getting your check that day. For that, uh, that get your benefits typically on the second Wednesday. Does that kind of make sense? Anyway, I have another video about, about uh, out about that. You can check that one out. Anyway, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. Please subscribe down below. Again, join the other 500 or sorry, I should say nearly 500,000 people here on the channel. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate every single one of you. Otherwise, check out some of the other videos here on the channel, the thousands in the video library, those that have hands selected for you down below in the description or the top of the comment section there as well. Or right now, pop it up on your screen. You'll see a bunch of videos. Take your selection now and I'll see you again in just a second or two in the next video.